Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be revealing the grand total of how much I spent on the vocal booth and how long it took me to build it. Let's go. Yo, what's up? All right, so today we're going to be uh, talking about the, the vocal booth build and, and was it worth it? How much everything costs and do I suggest that you do it? The first thing that we had to do was, was make a plan. How big do we want the vocal booth to be? Where is it gonna sit at? First thing I did was plan out the dimensions. So I wanted the vocal booth to be four foot by four foot and I wanted it to be about 80 inches high. Once I had the plans, well, actually I'm not a handyman. And, and uh, the first thing I'm gonna say is if you are not a handyman or you don't have someone that can help you out, I would not suggest building the structure because if I would have been on my own with it, there would have been no way that I could get it done. Luckily, my neighbor is a handyman. I uh, went over to him and let him know what I was trying to do, uh, gave him the dimensions. He wrote out a supply list for me. We took the trip to Menards and we picked up the supplies. The supplies was about $337. Uh, they gave us a 11% rebate. So, so really it was about $300. But in all actuality, I forgot to send in the rebate, so it was still $337. So once we got the supplies, we brought them back over to his house and we started to frame the walls. Uh, really the main tools that you need is a circular saw and a drill, a level, a tape measure. Once we got the walls framed, we could put the plywood on the outside, put the insulation on the inside, put the plywood on the inside, and then the walls were finished. So that was the first thing we did was frame the three walls. And then we also started to create the fourth wall and we created a custom door in there. So that's another thing, like the door was, it was pretty complicated to hang that door. So I would suggest if you're gonna do this, it might be smart for you to get a pre-hung door, especially if you're not that experienced and the handyman stuff. Uh, once we got all of the walls finished and the door and whatnot, the roof, uh, I was able to take the booth down into my basement and put it together. So basically we had five pieces. We had four walls and we had a roof. I took those pieces individually down to my basement and then we constructed the thing with lag bolts and a ratchet. So after we built everything, it took me and my little brother about 30 minutes to carry everything down to the basement and construct the booth. So after the booth was constructed, the next thing that I did was start to think about the interior. So I knew that I wanted a TV in there, so I ordered a TV stand. I knew I wanted a couple shelves in there, so I created some um, makeshift shelves and hung them in there as well. First we hung the TV stand, then I created the shelves, then I started to foam the inside. Once we put all of the foam up and shut the door, it was so airtight on the inside that my ears popped. And then I realized, yo, we're gonna need some ventilation. So I was gonna hold off on the ventilation. I wasn't gonna do the ventilation at first. I was just gonna ride it out how it was for the first month and see. But as soon as I shut that door, seeing how suffocated I felt, I um, realized that I was gonna have to go ahead and do the ventilation before I even was able to record in there. We took a four inch hole saw bit on a drill. I drilled a four inch hole at the bottom. I drilled a four inch hole at the top and I bought eight foot of flex pipe for the bottom, eight foot of flex pipe for the top. And then I put a $30 exhaust fan on, on the end of, of each flex pipe and dragged it out to be as far away from the booth as possible. And then we had a intake coming in the bottom and we had an exhaust coming out the top. Then I took a two inch hole saw and drilled a hole to where all of the cords would come in for the electricity. So um, I put a power strip inside the booth, ran the cord outside of the booth. So now we had electricity. I just kept it simple and I put a power strip in there, HDMI cord in the two inch hole, uh, headphones, USB connected to the computer. So, so now the booth has everything. It has a TV, USB connected to the computer. So I can run the computer from inside the booth, uh, headphones in the booth, XLR for the microphone. I do not have to leave the booth. I can go in there at 9 a.m. and I can sit in there till 12 p.m. if I want and record myself. That was the goal of the booth, to be able to go in there, record myself, and not have to leave the booth. So the main reason that I created the booth was privacy. I have children, I have a uh, significant other, 
and I just didn't want to be yelling, screaming, rapping, singing, and then be able to hear me and whatnot. You know, I'm still a little self-conscious about how I sound. <laughs> I'm trying to get over that though, but the main reason I created the booth was for privacy. I could go in the booth and be screaming at the top of my lungs and no one can hear me all through the house. So uh, was it worth it for me? Yes, it was definitely worth it. Uh, how much did I spend? We'll get back to you at the end of the video with a final number, okay? Was it worth it to me? Yes. Did it do exactly what I wanted it to do? Yes. Would have I done it again? Yes. Would have I paid double the amount I paid to get it together? Yes. Uh, it was a great investment for me. I'm super happy that I did it. And it's definitely going to be a game changer in terms of me creating and me recording music. We'll go ahead and uh, add up everything right now and you guys can see how much was spent. And then I'll also try to estimate uh, how, much, how much time that it all took. And right now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the booth supplies, how much all these supplies cost, and what I thought about the supplies or, you know, I'll give you guys a little feedback on um, what happened. Okay, so um, this right here is the list of things we got from Menards. So we got four pieces of the four by eight insulation foam. That was $152, I would not have did that. Um, if I was to do it again, I would get rock wool. So I don't know how much that costs, but uh, don't get the insulation foam. If you plan on doing this, get rock wool. Uh, second, we got 16 two by fours. That was $52. We got uh, eight pieces of four by eight wafer board. That is a very thin plywood. Um, uh, we got a door handle, uh, latch for the door. We got the lag bolts and a couple door hinges and some styrofoam. The total was $337.61. Next, we'll go to the things I bought off Amazon. Uh, two exhaust fans for $25.99 each, eight pack of bass traps, $27.99, 10 foot USB extension, headphone extension, LED overhead light, um, set of eight feet flex duct, 25 foot extension cord, uh, door pool, power strip, and when it comes down to the foam, I picked three different foams because I wanted to try each one out. So the uh, mid-level foam was the Foamily Acoustic Foam Egg Crate four pack of two foot by four foot pieces. Uh, that was $80. Uh, the expensive foam I got was Pro Studio Acoustics 12 pack of one foot squares for $70. And then I got some cheap stuff a 24 pack of one foot squares from Jaber Acoustic Panels for $40. If I was to do it all over again, I would have got all the Foamily A Crate Foam. Great stuff, great quality, uh, good value. Um, then, then we got the TV mount, the TV mount adapter, shelf brackets, and the total of all of that was $394.34. And then I bought four moving blankets at a hardware store for $20 and I also ordered some acoustic caulk that was $60 so uh, the grand total for everything was $808.95 um, it took us about four days to build the actual structure uh, we we worked about an average of four hours a day for four days so that's 16 hours to build the structure and then it maybe took me by myself another six hours over the course of a week or two um, just as the parts kept coming in from Amazon, uh, it probably took me six hours to do the inside. So total, I would estimate about 22 hours of work and let's go. So if, if you guys want me to actually put you together a list of all of the links of all of the exact products I bought, just let me know. I'll put that together and put another video together for you guys if I get enough comments asking for that. Hey yo!